Hello guys, I wish to take you through a simple hotel management system created using Microsoft Access. Therefore, basically, this is the, the GUI or the dashboard of the system where we have the date and time here, calendar. And then, uh, on the other hand, we have the form operations here. Therefore, in form operations, this is where we have the bookings, we have the meals and transport. Uh, when we talk about the booking, this is where we have the admission, we have the group accommodation and individual accommodation. Uh, here, it is assumed that uh, people can come as a group or a person as an individual. On the other hand, uh, people can also take the group meals or individual meals, then when it comes to transport, somebody may think of having local transport and also uh, having foreign transport. Then other services, we can have foreign extra services. Then we can also have local extra services or laundry and ironing. Therefore, when you talk about the admission, uh, look at this form. This is whereby we shall capture the name, uh, the status, whether uh, it is local group, individual, foreign, ETC, then date of admission, age, in case it's available, then number of room, then room category, we can have single room, double room, single room self-contained, or double room self-contained. Then accommodation, somebody may opt for half board, full board, or bed at breakfast. Then when it comes to group, uh, that is group accommodation, then we can have the following, uh, the same category here will be applied. Therefore, somebody may choose here. Then you see when you click on various categories here, that is the accommodation charges from this point, it is automatically, uh, you are automatically built here. Therefore, you automatically built. And in case you are a foreign, a foreigner, then you expect to have a higher charge. If you are a local, then you need to have uh, a subsidized co uh, that is a charge. On the other hand, when it goes to individual accommodation, therefore the individual accommodation still they have their categories uh, with the different cost here. Then you can also uh, choose the mode of payment, whether you are uh, using local cash or foreign cash. Then when it comes to meals and transport, uh, they are group meals, therefore you have the group name, uh, reader name, the ID number, room number, number of uh, attendees or attendants, then we still have whether it's local, then charges are different as you can see here. Therefore, when you choose here, you are in a position to uh, get the different, uh, different, that is different charges. On the other hand, when it comes to local transport, uh, there is transport cost, therefore probably you may opt to use uh, Mercedes-Benz or Volkswagen, Saron, bus, etc. And then you will be charged differently according to uh, the category in which you choose. Then when it comes to other services, we have the foreign extra services. Uh, here there is like swimming pool, there is sporting facilities. Uh, right now here you can choose whether you are using ambulance services, sporting facilities, uh, swimming pool or conference uh, facilities. Therefore, that is for that uh, other form there. And then, roundry, you can be in a position to have roundry whether you are, have heavy linen, medium right, heavy plus medium such with the different uh, prices here. Then, you can also uh, uh, have this notification here uh, according to how the ironing services uh, are concerned. Therefore, basically, this is uh, how the the, the forms work. Then on the other hand, you can also look at uh, report operations. This is the reports operations where you can have all the uh, reports according to the tables and queries. That is according to the tables and queries on uh, how uh, we have gone through. And therefore basically you have the admission uh, report, group accommodation report, individual accommodation report, etc. And therefore, this is the, the system. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this system is already uploaded on my website, 
the URL or the address of my address is just below this video. You'll be in a position to download the source code. Uh, remember, you can just go to Design View to see the various operations. Like for instance, if you want to see the tables, these are the tables that I have created. We have the admission table. We have the foreign guest uh, services. We have the foreign transport, group accommodation, group meals. Uh, we have the individual meals table. We have uh, such. Therefore, if you just want to see how this table works, you just open it. Then you just right click here. Uh, you just you need just need to go to the side view of this one. Therefore, I just uh, enable that. Then you can be in a position to see we have name, status, etc and the way it is fed then uh, you can also see the reports that i have created here right now uh, if you want to do this but basically let me just show you how to uh, go about this you just double click and hold shift on your keyboard so that you disable the menus therefore i'm holding shift then i double click as i hold shift see what happens ladies and gentlemen you still hold shift as you enable the macros in case you are using Office 2007, but even other offices will still apply. And therefore, for that case, ladies and gentlemen, you can see the forms I have. Like, for instance, if you want to see how I have created this form, you just right click, then you go to uh, Design View. Like now, this right click, go to Design View. Therefore, this is my, my form. Then uh, you can look at these different. Um, uh, uh, controls like for example if you just go to this form here design view you'd be in a position to see the functions that I have used like for instance uh, I have used e function here uh, ladies and gentlemen you can see I have used e function therefore this one reads if status therefore we have must have status here therefore if status equals to foreign individual then there is uh, one one, uh, that is uh, one eleven or, or one times one. This is percentage. This is one ten percent cost. Therefore, if status is local, then it remains flat. On the other hand, uh, if you look at this one here, I have also used the E function, though it's a bit longer. And instead of using E function, in my various videos, I have explained how you can use the switch and also how you can use case select. Only that E function is easier to use because uh, for basic students, you may not have a, a higher skill of VBA. That is visual basic for application. But remember, I have done a lot of videos in VBA where I have taken you how to come up with a case select and also use switch. Therefore, this is how that one, that form looks like. Uh, that one, that one is in case you want to uh, you want to see how i have done that on the other hand uh, if you go to laudary this one here uh, therefore this is how it looks like you can see this is a combo box also this is a combo box therefore there is no coding there there is no even a single code on that one but various or uh, forms here you will notice that um, i have used a lot of e function uh, instead of uh, other other functions and therefore these ones you can just come and copy in case you want to use the the, the forms and therefore i have not hidden anything for that and uh, remember ladies and gentlemen i have instructed you to hold the shift key on your keyboard as you're opening this database you can also do it for any other database that i have uh, downloaded i uh, have uploaded on my website other than for example asking for the password that one will take you direct to this then on the other hand uh, at this point here ladies and gentlemen on this part here in microsoft access for now it is written object type therefore if you want to see everything you usually choose this and therefore there we are you can be in a position to see that um, my database is complete there is nothing hidden you in a position to get everything for example if you want to see the design of this table of mine you just go to design view then you can see the data types and also the field properties that i have set therefore as you go down here you're in a position to see everything on the other hand these are the tables therefore i have the tables here just go to design view and 
look at it, you will even see the primary key. You can also see uh, the relationships. This is the relationships done here. You can be in a position to see the relationships. You can also double click here to, in case you want to edit or to delete the relationship. Therefore, this is the relationship uh, on that database. You can be in a position to uh, follow that. That just by uh, hitting on uh, double click. Then when it comes to queries, still you can be in a position to see the queries from the queries tab or from the queries grid here. Then you'll be in a position now to edit and also learn more on uh, what I have actually done on uh, this hotel, simple hotel management system. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, again, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed for me. Remember to visit my website and see and also get more and more uh, databases that I have done over the years so that you can be in a position to acquire the, acquired, uh, the required skills in Microsoft Access. And therefore, thank you very much for watching. See you in my next session.